First of all, on, on behalf of Georgia State University and our football program, we're thrilled. I think, uh, in, in, you know, just talking with our players, it's been a, a great few days here. And uh, we're excited about this contest. Uh, play a quality opponent in Wyoming. Uh, just, just thrilled to tell you the truth. I mean, it's just, it, it's a rewarding experience when you work so hard, you know, in your off season, and then, uh, you know, to have it finalized in a, in a great bowl game. And, you know, you, you got a great team. So we're just, uh, you know, really appreciative uh, of being here and looking forward to a great contest. I love doing things for the first time. I love setting standards. Um, probably, you know, when I was a player to, to when I began coaching, it was always about, hey, I, what do you want to be remembered for? And what a great opportunity to, to take over a program at that time was seven years old, had um, never won a bowl game, had been to one bowl game. There were so many firsts that you could go out and, and we don't sell things at Georgia State University. We, we present them to individuals. So I thought in recruiting that you could go out and really uh, lay a plan in place for individuals and get them excited about having something to, to really be, kind of be a founding father, so to speak. Dante, was that kind of the same thing for you guys when you were recruited? Yes, sir. Yeah. I just knew um, Georgia State was right up the road from my hometown. and. There wasn't much history at Georgia State, so I talked to Coach Elliott. Georgia State was one of my last offers, and I talked to Coach Elliott, and it was really mainly about being the first to do something at Georgia State, and I wanted to be a part of it. Dan, we spoke on the phone uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, how did he feel, and, and what are you kind of expecting uh, uh, in terms of what, what you kind of can do tomorrow? Uh, I think I'm feeling the best I've ever felt since the injury happened. I think I've been practicing well on it. Uh, and tomorrow we're gonna see how, how it goes. Uh, but I feel really good. Dan, what went into your decision to keep playing much more rather than shut it down, have surgery? And yeah, uh, just Coach Elliott, the team, the school. Uh, I, I didn't want to let the team down, so uh, you know I got on the phone with him on I think Monday. That Monday uh, before the the half state game, I asked him would he let me play. He told me yeah, and uh, we just went here to here. I mean day to day about practice. So. Uh, Tell me that I could make it worse uh, later down the road in life, uh, but you know they did say I had some risks at it. But you know, for these guys and for him, it was, it was worth it. Sean, was it easy to hear that from your quarterback? <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's it's really remarkable because you know in this uh, day and age, there's so much selfishness going, that goes around, and for someone to to set it all aside and say, I want to do it for our team, I want to do it for our university, your coach, whatever it may be. That's, that's just, that's, shoot, that's why you coach. I mean, I'm telling you, to know that you have that type of impact on somebody that he wants to give everything and more, it's remarkable. Sean, just what's your impression of, of Wyoming and what you're going to get from those guys? Listen, uh, Wyoming, tough, physical. I mean, it's exactly – I mean, I didn't even have to look at the film to know exactly who we were going to play. Uh, I know the style of football they play. Uh, I've seen them. You know, we, we had a crossover game with Texas State. Uh, hard working. I can imagine if I were to close my eyes and picture them in the off season, I would see tough, rugged, uh, in the weight room, just sweat everywhere, just, you know, blue collar. It's not tough at all. I mean, they they have a system that they believe in, and, and they're going to go with that system. So, you know, you just don't wholesale change something because of one individual. You certainly play to, to the talents, but um, like I said, the game plan was, I'd say, fairly solid for us. Dante, what's your impression of the and what they do to your offensively? You know, we know they're uh, big and strong up front, and have some good running backs and. Uh, use multiple quarterbacks, and so we know they're run first offense. So we're just really keying in on stopping the run first, and then 
getting ourselves in passing situations where we can get after the quarterback. Oh yeah, I love these type of games. He better. Yeah, I love these type of games. <laughs> well, we may not play him tomorrow. <laughs> what, Dante, what did you think when you found out that your quarterback was going to play through a tournament? Well, I just knew uh, Dan's been having a, an incredible season this year. He's really been putting the team on our on his back and. When we found out he had the injury, we just defense just knew we'd have to step up and really fill in the gap where normally he'd be able to run and scramble and make plays. We just knew we'd be on the field a little bit more often. So we just really got to step up and do what we got do what we can to be as successful as we can for the team. Well, you know, it's, it's very interesting. I think um, that there's two things that go into the performance of a running back, and it starts with the guys up front. Um, I think the five individuals that we have up front, four of the five were, have been starting for uh, a number of games. We, coming into this season, we had started to really develop our run game. We felt very comfortable in what we were doing. And, and when we have a run game that's its that's, that's on point, or that we stick with. Um, so those guys really became the glue. And then Trey, in the offseason, made a commitment to himself and our football team to really, uh, you know, just the hard work, the extra effort. There were some times that I seen we were actually going to report, I believe it was uh, August 1st, whatever day it was, and we were reporting the next day. And so we have a team meeting. It was about 6 o'clock that evening, and uh, Trey had come out to the, the field, and our offices are right there at the stadium. And Trey was out there, and he had cones set up. And this was what he had been doing all off season. But he had cones set up the, I mean, the night before we reported. I mean, we've been busting our tail all off season, taking a couple of days off. And he was out there running cone drills and, and just just working, you know. Or a lot of people say, oh, we got our team meeting coming up. I'm not going to do anything today. And he just he made a commitment to be successful. And I think any individual that uh, if you put your mind to it and you have a plan in place and you, ha you have some support like those offensive linemen, then you can be successful. And he certainly uh, had the plan. You guys obviously like to run the ball along these top ten nationally rush defense. So what, when you see their defense, what they do against the run, what, what makes them so effective? What do you feel like you guys have to do is what sort of try to crack that? Yeah, you know, kind of like what, what I said, you know, when I think of uh, a tough run defense, I think of guys that love to get dirty. And I, when I watch them play, I, those guys love to get dirty. I mean, they like the physical nature in the trenches. Their linebacker loves contact. That's what I think of. And that's what makes them so difficult. I mean, they, they exude confidence in stopping the run. You can see it from their mentality, their body language, how they run to the football. Uh, so uh, they, that's, that's why they're so good in the, in the run stop. Coach, Coach what makes Dante in because he is relentless. He, he has a, a passion to play the game. He loves the physical nature uh, of what football stands for. And uh, I can tell you one thing. When I, when I first got hired at Georgia State and we were looking to build a foundation for us defensively, I think at that time you were committed to Army. And I said, this guy's not going to Army. And I was like, i got to have Dante with us. And we had an assistant coach named uh, Rusty Wright. And, uh, he, he played with great effort. I mean, when, he, when you turn on a film and you look for somebody that you want on your team, you look for great effort, great intensity, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, he had a strong, strong just – I just saw him as the perfect nose guard. And ever since we've signed him, he is not disappointed. Strong, physical, uh, maybe not six foot, right? Okay, <laughs> yeah. But, I, I, you know, uh, we just needed him. He's everything we thought he would be and more. John, what did that win over Tennessee do for your program, your young program, and the confidence of your ability? I mean, uh, everyone in the college football world knew who Georgia State University was. I mean, every single one. Uh, we were on the 6 o'clock report, 7 o'clock report, the 11 o'clock report, the next day, Monday Night Football. They were, everybody was talking about 
what our football program had done. You, that's, you can't put a price tag on that. And the way we did it, I mean, it was no fluke. Uh, we had a strong-minded football team that went in there and, and, and played very, very well. And uh, it's done wonders for us. It's, it, it really has. Um, they have uh, Jalen Hurts and You know, special teams is going to play an important role, just like it always does. I mean, as far as the punt returning, um, I, I think we, we have a plan in place to minimize that. Hey, you know, kick it to them or kick it. We can kick that thing out of bounds, you know, and save us a lot of headache. That's <laughs> uh, the way I always say it. Well, I mean, I'm not one of them hard-headed individuals that say, hey, let's kick it to that guy. We're going to go tackle him. But, uh, you know, they are, they're, always, uh, they're always very, very important moments in special teams, all three phases. Uh, certainly are important, but uh, as long as you're prepared and have a plan in place, you should be okay. Uh, what sort of uh, challenges have you faced in your You know, probably from the time I was hired, the biggest thing was, was probably facilities, to tell you the truth. I mean, we're in a, we're in a talent-rich area in the city of Atlanta, in the southeast. Uh, I mean, Atlanta's the capital of college football. I mean, it just is. Uh, but our facilities at, at, the, at the moment when we took over, uh, it just it wasn't what it needed to be. And our administration, Charlie Cobb, our athletics director, has uh, put a plan in place to give us some of the top facilities. And uh, it started out with Georgia State Stadium, and then we built our operations, uh, football operations there. Uh, we've got great off-campus housing 10 feet away from our stadium. Uh, everything we do is very, very convenient. So those were the challenges uh, early on that we faced, and we've, we've made a lot of headway. Dan, why did you decide to play for first? Just to make history. Um, I was actually having a better visit when I got the call that he's going to offer me. <laughs> and, um, um, I think it's like two or three days later, I came and uh, visited uh, on my official here in Georgia State. And I got here, and, and um, you know, I, I've been in Atlanta probably like twice in my life. And I got here, and I just knew it, just, it, felt, it felt comfortable, it felt right. And uh, I went on another visit after I left Georgia State, and all I was thinking about was Georgia State. And, uh, I got back. And, I think I called them like the day before they played the Cure Bowl and told them I was on the end of coming. And uh, it's it just it's awesome to be here. It's awesome to play for him, Coach Ellie. And uh, I wouldn't want to know it away. Where were you visiting when um, you first got that call? Uh, Murray State. Murray State. Mm -hmm. so, Sean, are you the player? Is, is there any team that won't want to remind you of that you played this year? Nah. Uh, they, they probably run it as much as Army does, maybe. <laughs> but it's certainly not the same style. No, I, I don't think there's a team, uh, you know, that, that they mimic that we've faced a little bit. What do you think, Dante? I can't think of another no. team. That's for the players, though. What's, your, what's been your uh, experience with Tucson? Uh, it's a very nice place. It's quiet here. I like that. Um, I like the mountains. I like how the snow is on the mountains. Um, it's like Mississippi, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's, it's really quiet here. I like it here. The people are really nice. Uh, it's a really good bowl, bowl game to come to. I really like it. Uh, I was excited when we found out we was coming here. It's my first time, so uh, I love it here. Yeah, I like the views. It's like <laughs> where I'm from, it's a lot of trees. I'm from the country, so. <laughs> and then when you go to Atlanta, it's a lot of buildings, so I just, we don't, we don't have a lot of mountains. So where I'm from, so just seeing all the mountains around, it's, it's nice. So for the, for the players, you guys have an opportunity, I guess, to win this game, to have the most wins that you have ever had as a program. What would that mean to you? I mean, everything. I mean, that's what we're here for, to make history. I mean, that's why I came to Georgia State for a week. As soon as I came here, I mean, they had, they had been to a bowl game, but they never won one, so my freshman year, we went to the Cure Bowl, won the Cure Bowl, and then this season uh, we we had the most 
uh, regular season wins this season, and now we're trying to get the uh, eighth win of the season and be the most wins in school history. So it'd be major big for us. Well, you know, I th <clears throat> excuse me. I think it. Uh, you know, anytime you have experience doing something, it, it, it always helps. I mean, it doesn't matter what profession you're in, what game you're playing. If you have experience doing it, you're going to be uh, more inclined to be better at it. Uh, and I think uh, you know, just from our experience two years ago, and how we took care of business. When I say took care of business, both off the field and the hotel, wh whatever we were doing in a first class mi manner, it set the stage for all our younger guys. And here we are two years later and we're, we're mimicking the same thing we did that, you know, in that game. So hopefully it pays off just like it did it two years ago. Donnie, were you committed to Army or was that too much of Yes, sir, I was committed. Yes, sir. Why did you change your mind? Uh, I mean, Army's a great school and football program, but I'm I, lo I love my family, so Georgia State, just being an hour away from my hometown, it was just a no-brainer for me.